You may have known that the suit and wedding dress worn by Vision and Wanda in the opening titles were specifically tailored for the series, with the dress created as an homage to Audrey Hepburn. But here are 10 things you may not have known about Wanda Vision, filmed before a live studio audience. I've been so looking forward to it. The interior set for the house is inspired by the set from the Dick Van Dyke Show, 1961. This episode is described as being set in the 50s, with a calendar on the wall giving the date of Tuesday, August 1st. August 1st was a Tuesday in the year 1950, but only that year of that decade. However, August 1st was a Tuesday in 1961, the year that the Dick Van Dyke Show debuted. Filmed at Pinewood Atlanta Studios in front of a live studio audience. Well, doesn't this look wonderful? This episode is in homage to the homey American dream style sitcoms of the 1950s, including I Love Lucy, 1951, I Married Joan, 1952, and The Honeymooners, 1955. Paul Bettany, aka Vision, was painted blue as opposed to his normal red because the blue worked better on the black and white filters used in this episode. Not only was The Boss's coming to dinner a standard plot in sitcoms until the 1960s, but it was also a plot of comedy radio shows before television. The wife not knowing was almost always a part of the setup as well. Who are those people? What are you wearing? Why are they here? The wine served at dinner is called Maison du Mepris, which, translated from French to English, means House of Contempt. There is also a large M on the neck of the wine bottle, which may refer to House of M, a major Marvel comic story arc for Wanda, which influenced the development of WandaVision. Yes, as a matter of fact, there is. Would you be so good as to tell me what it is we do here, exactly? Vision not knowing what the company actually does is a reference to the many undefined jobs sitcom and, again, radio show, husbands had for decades. Vision nearly tripping over the chair while carrying Wanda is in homage to the opening credits of that show where Rob trips over the ottoman. Neighbor Agnes' name may be in homage to Agnes Moorhead who played the witch and Dora on Bewitched. Oh, this is gonna be a gas! <laughs> Wanda offers Vision breakfast with a line nearly identical to one spoken by Amanda Plummer in So I Married an Axe Murderer, referencing silver dollar pancakes, crispy hash browns, bacon, freshly squeezed orange juice, and coffee. The line is similar enough to be an obscure homage. What do you say to silver dollar pancakes, crispy hash browns, bacon, eggs, freshly squeezed orange juice, and black coffee? I say, oh, I don't eat food. What would you say to silver dollar pancakes, fresh squeezed orange juice, bacon, and Kona coffee? Well, that sounds great. So what did you think of this video? Did you know any of these cool facts? Let us know in the comments section below what you would like to see next. Thanks for hanging out with us here at Movie Mistakes, and we'll see you next time. This guest is leaving your home. <laughs>